<laughs> Dana, you good on the Facebook? All right. Action. Live from the Catskill Mountains, it's in the Animal Stable of Stars, Future Edition 2020, with special guests, Cool Keith, James Concannon, George Carlin's brother, Patrick Carlin, Flip Payne from Parliament Funkin' Delic! Maybe Obi-Wan Kenobi Aaron is going to be stopping by. Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, now! Let the music just keep rolling while I talk, you know what I'm saying? I like that. 2020 the future is now everybody what camera am i looking at that one that's the one the future is now <laughs> um cool keith's on his way over here let me just get this out of the way we got some events coming up around town you know we throw all kinds of cool events sorry we we'll put stable stars on the hold but we just all needed a break you know what i'm saying did we all need a break everybody did everyone enjoy their break yeah come on everybody right yeah all right <laughs> let me just get these out of the way we got a couple of events coming up oh god i'm gonna tell you about the show last night cool keith he's not here yet is he he said five minutes all right we got we got the televisionaries i think that's uh 17th of this month yeah, at Station, there's, there's, there's three cute cutie brothers from Rochester, New York, home of the garbage plate, the Flower City, F-L-O-U-R. Altasia presents February 19th, 2020, BSP Kingston, The Mean Jeans, with Metal Leg and Top Nachos. Oh, all right, here we are. What am, what am I supposed to, what am I, somebody tell me what I said I was going to talk about. Welcome back, everybody. Did you miss me? Because I missed you. So, um, last night, we uh, had Cool Keith at the station bar. It's nuts. It's a tiny little bar. It's my favorite bar. It's a little bar in Woodstock. With cool Keith, Bloodshot Bill, my man Upgrade from Kingston, and uh, we did the what we did the uh, countdown at midnight, and we listened to uh, "You're Just Too Good to Be True." Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. I think we're gonna have one of the chats, Eamon from the chats. I think we're gonna be chatting with. Let's try calling him now. Start a video chat. Cool Keith is going to walk in whenever he wants. Hey, how come when I look at the TV, there's a penguin in back of me, but when I see myself in this chat, Sharon! Yeah! Okay, we'll try and beg. But when I look at this, it's green in back of me. How does that work? Cool Keith's in the house! Clip Payne's in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you ready? Come on, Keith. Yeah. Clip, you want to come sit down, too? All right. You fellas each take a side. Hotel or eight. You got those markers? We got... Oh, you set it up there? Keith, somebody wants some stuff autographed here. Cool Keith, everybody. Yeah. 
Yeah. What's happened? Did you have fun last night? Uh, Tell us what's uh, what's it's it's... Yo, it's the future now. Look, yeah, I had so much fun. It's the future. I, I, I had a lot of fun. What do you do? You remember anything? Oh, uh, we. I was. I had a couple of tequilas. I was tequila shot it up. I was part of that. Huh? Tequilas and rose last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice combo. Yeah, the tequilas, baby. Tequila <laughs> shots. Tequila. Tequila and more tequila. Oh yeah, that you gave me that I scarf. Gave scarf yeah, last year was it last? I think it was two years ago. I wear it at like very special the Arabian, events. The Arabian, the Arabian scarf. Remember the Arabian prince, it's West Arabian. Coast guy. This is Arabian scarf. You look really good with that, man. Yeah, I don't deserve it. I know. You look. I, I leave it. I leave it back. <laughs> I'm gonna give it back to you anyway. No. Does anybody agree that Keith should take it back from me? It's like, oh, I might start wearing it like that. <laughs> uh, what's that? What tell us what 2020 is going to be like with the future? Is like Casey. That's your dog, right? That's Clip's dog. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's a, is Clip here? Big, big dog. Big dog. I can't see nothing. She's like an English bulldog. So, what's 2020 going to be like? Uh, making new records. I got my. I got this record out called um, Saks Fifth Avenue, and um, said G got an album coming out, and um, I just had the Keith album from out. Ultra Magnetic and, MCs. You know, my Twitter, original Cool Keith, and uh, and of course my Instagram. But what's in the future of the? What's this of the world? Ultra Man Seven Thousand like? Twitters, man. Twitter. What's the world gonna be like? Uh, the world, they're going to have flying cars in a minute. We're going to have some flying cars flying around. Available. Yeah, they're going to get the flying. You see the new flying Bentley? The, the what? The new flying Bentley. Yeah, that exists. Yeah. You so, got one? Yeah. yeah. Now, I think um, everybody might buy that car. And, um, I think um, Tesla's making, you know about the Tesla? They're making a flying? No, nah, they're making a regular, just, um, this other kind of. Are we doing something about that It's feedback? futuristic. SUV is coming out. How about jetpacks? No, nah, just the SUV. Tesla. What's the futuristic? What's futuristic about this SUV? Oh, you can bang it with a sledgehammer, and nothing happens. Look, they make cookie puss. Huh? Really? Yeah. So you can just drive and just like crash into cars and run people off the road. It looks like fine. some crazy. Like that sounds, uh, it looked like some Mad Max machine. That sounds fun. But it's only in a. It's like a boring color though. They're gonna have to make it in colors is it elon musk it's like a um like iron like a silver looking like chrome iron man can we put on some commercials with some oh i like that background yeah is that your phone oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah let, me let, me turn it on. let me turn it on let me turn it on let me turn it on i was watching all videos? kinds of videos i've been watching all kinds of videos let me turn it on. <laughs> do you like staying do you like staying up here in the woods Oh, it's nice. It's very peaceful. It's, yeah. um, it's um, a lot of serene time. You seen any wild animals? No, nah, I was looking for some last night. If the house was full of them last night. I saw a deer cross. <laughs> I saw a deer cross the road last night, and he just stood in the middle of the road. I could have walked up to him, but he just stopped and looked for about ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe it was the light. Messing with his eyes. He wanted you to look into his soul. But he didn't want to keep going. He just stopped the middle road, stood there. What do you think? Like, he's thinking? come out the car and shake my hand or something. What was he thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I think, unless he was blind by the light, I think the light made him blind, possibly. You know, so I'm kind of going for like a Rick Rubin look today. Oh, yeah, Rick Rubin. I went to one of your parties, it was a record release party. All your buddies are telling me I look like Rick Rubin. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do like Rick Rubin. Like, well, like I know Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin is the man. No. Yeah. You worked with him before, right? I think he moved to California. Yeah, he's in, he he's moved in to California. California. Yeah. yeah Rick, Rick, old Ricky Rubin, the king of, uh, you know, man behind the scenes of a lot of stuff. Hip hop, heavy metal. Heavy oh, Patrick metal. Carlin's in the house. Yeah. yeah, this is George Carlin's brother over here. Okay, that's that's the move. 
That's the move. That's the move, baby. <laughs> hey, Patrick, you want to come sit down over here, buddy? Okay. Come on. Wandering around, man. Cliff found me out there. <laughs> this is the ride. This is the Rocky. This is a. This is a. This is a. This is, a, this is, a, this is the evening of rock stars. <laughs> here, come sit over here, buddy. Can you come over this way? Hey, I'm doing good. I was going to hey. pick you up, but you look like a homeless dude. Oh. <laughs> that, that is so weird. Good How you doing? Happy New, Year. Oh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah. Happy New Year. Oh. Mm. This is Patrick Carlin. Patrick, brother of George Carlin. The, you're the big brother, right? Yeah, five years older. You used to whoop his ass when oh, he was a kid? No, it never was necessary, man. No, cool. He was a cool guy. Mm. Cool. He took the heat off me. Yeah. My mom decided, you know, she gave up on me. And she said, well, I'm going to make something out of that little boy. Make something out of me. Yeah, we were the spotlight. And uh, that was cool. And you were like managed him or kind of like uh, road managed or something? Oh, no. No. I, so I went on the road once with him. Yeah. Because he's got balls as big as you. Yeah. And he says to me, uh, That's big. Oh, he's huge, man. I, I mean, <laughs> nothing, he had nothing praised him. And he was out of my house, was around when all the Democrats were running for something. Yeah. Back when Pat Paulson ran and everyone. And he, he worked out a routine. He was counseling Carl Cop out. And he was going to be like the 26th candidate running for the Democrats. And when he got done, uh, his kid Kelly was born right between my boys, Patrick and Dennis. So the three of them were out back playing, and we were getting high. And uh, he says, you know, you ought to go to New York with me, man, and do that Ed Sullivan show. Yeah. I said, what are you, nuts, man? I said, I sell Pontiacs. I, you're not even, I don't act. He said, all you got to do is ask the questions. So I said, okay. Anyway, we went back to New York, went back to the old neighborhood and sat up on Snake Hill at 125th Street and 12th Avenue, listening to Otis Redding sing Dock of the Bay. So yeah, that's I when this was going on. Bay. That's I tell time by music. I didn't know you was, well, um, you sold Pontiacs? Oh yeah, G oh, GTOs, GTOs huh? and yeah. stuff like, oh yeah. yeah I my, my, uncle, my uncle had one of those, my uncle had one of those. Oh, they were a good machine, the, the square, the square one, the, um, the, the, not the, when it became the round model, what was, well, oh, when oh. it became the, the square one. Oh, that I was mean, like the 63 ones, right? 60. Oh, yeah. That was when I was phasing out. Where are you going? Look at the TV. They got big engines in the muscle cars. That's right. Three two-barrel carburetors, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I could get engine. rubber in third year. It was Bunk. a lot of fun. Oh, look at there. Oh, I see what you got. <laughs> look at this. Wow. You, you oh, banana. look at that. that oh, it's a light you're show. You're, you're, hey. you're banana, huh? I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like that banana juice. Remember when they said that oh, would get you high? You, you could erase yourself. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Erase me, baby. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> erase them. Oh, I love it. Yo, let's put on, let's watch some, some, uh, some old WPIX commercials or something. Hi, I'm Mario of Hirsch Photo. You know, you don't have to be a great picture taker to don't take great pictures. What you need is the right camera, and we'll help you find it. Take the Canon AE-1. You this little Tootsie is one of the most popular time. automatics of its kind. Because this Canon time. does all the work while you have all the fun. Anyone can take great pictures once you find the right you camera. Do that on my phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And at Hirsch Photo, that's a piece of cake. Now at 3rd Avenue and 44th Street. That's still right. Right? Hempstead China's semi-annual so dinnerware sale is being celebrated yeah. with the biggest reductions in their history on thousands of patterns of dinnerware and stemware. You'll save 20 to 70 percent during Hempstead China's sensational dinnerware yeah, sale what's of fine like? china, casual china, china stoneware, and ironstone. Every famous You've been to Hempstead China, China So hurry to Hempstead China's semi-annual dinnerware sale now. <laughs> Both stores are open Sunday. My mom in San Francisco would have a way to turn this meal around. Mm, she'd use Isn't French that? green beans, no, 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 bean sprouts, like bean sprouts, sweet red peppers, sweet red peppers, mushrooms, mushrooms, and a delicate sauce with a crisp chow mein noodle topping. Susie, Ta-da! Bird's eye San Francisco oh, style vegetables. They can turn any meal around. 
Clever lady, you nice really turn this meal the around. Shell noodles and the buttery herb sauce. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's your favorite bird's eye? Is everyone in trouble with this music? Newsweek magazine said that fat faces like muted. slipping three-year-old no, with the football goal. games, pep rallies, drive-ins, and the season prom. Rex this Reed found Vanity's the most entertaining play in town. Yep. Let's go all the way to Chelsea's West Side Theater to play? and see no. Vanity's. Reserve your tickets there. now. Call 5 no plays. No, 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 no. I went to a play recently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was that play called, Lori? Judgment Day. Oh, wow. There was fighting and bombs and <laughs> booze. Who's the. Uh, okay, uh, let's bring up another did guest. Cat? Did you see Cats? I saw Cats. I didn't, movie, go, yeah. I didn't go on. We ain't got anything from the somebody movie. Gotta, cats. Somebody got to give me a ticket. Yo, oh, the play? Yeah. I saw it when I was a kid. Yeah, with my Aunt Patricia. She was, yeah, the movie out now. Yeah, I saw that. You saw the movie? I seen both of them, man. Oh, when, when you saw the movie? Yeah, the movie was like kind of like last a, week. Yeah, was that BA last week we went? Is it good? Yeah. I gotta check it out. Opening weekend. Yeah, we went opening weekend. I seen a lot of movies: The Star Wars, Cats. I gotta check that one. <laughs> um, Cats. It was like uh, you guys ever done Ecstasy before? You, oh, it's like that. Kind it was kind of like the movie would be more fun to watch if you're on Ecstasy. <laughs> Mm. But it's not worth it because you know that the day after you do that ecstasy, you get really sad. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, James, James Concana, you bring something? Did you bring something here you want to show us? Oh, I thought you brought something. Oh, yeah, come paint his shirt. Just like stand back here. Oh, you brought spray paint. Here we got we got a marker here. Oh, you did your dancing last night. He did a lot of good dancing last night. Come say hi. He, he had the style. He had the style. His style. He has grace, ladies and gentlemen. Freaky deaky artist oh, guy. Man, you got James Con We got the original uh, Palmer suit on. The original Dickies. Oh, those are yeah. some, Should I get some overalls like that? You guys can share the mic, you know. There you go. Oh, absolutely. Man. You got a little Tony Orlando. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Tony Orlando. Oh, yeah, that was back in Let's see the year. 1972, when we were getting ready to cut out of the country because Nixon was up for a second trip. And we said later for that. And uh, I had the long hair and the beard, and that used to get the love it or leave it people irate, you know. And we were going to drive Interstate 10 all the way over there and drop off like one of them, drive a station wagon and drop it off in Winter Haven, Florida, and then they go from there. So I said, make sure and pierce my ear, bro, before I go on the side where they can see the driving, you know. I said, well, I'll make sure I outrage these people as much as I can. Yeah, so we went down to Trinidad and Tobago with no passports or nothing, just me and my wife and my two kids. But they were like eight and ten. But she was born there, man. And uh, when we get off, okay, at the, at the airport, I get a dude as big as this guy driving this little uh, minor tripper of a Morris something or other taxi. He looked like one of them guys should have 99 on his back, you know. His name was Patterson, man. And uh, he gets behind a cop car in the St. James District, which was the party district of uh of this port of uh, port of Spain, where we're at, and he gets on the horn behind the coppers, and he says, "Move your ass, man! Move your ass! What's the matter?" Man? And starts cursing the cop out, and I turn to Marlene. I said, "We're gonna like this place." <laughs> I, we were there for nine months in Trinidad and Tobago, and I could only buy ganja once because the rest of the time the dudes were laying it on me, man. You know, just because uh, we weren't colonials. <laughs> <laughs> that was good fun down there, man. Ah, Trinidad and Tobago. Hey, you know what I just I remembered? Know. You know what I just remembered? Who? Uh, we are going to make some New Year's ice cream sundays. Does anybody want to go get the fixings in the fridge in there? In the fridge? The ice cream sandwiches? You got ice cream sandwiches? Got, hey, Lori, there's a bag in the fridge in there. Are they ice cream? Three ice creams in the freezer. Are they ice cream cones or pops uh, sandwiches? No, we got Sunday fixings. 
Oh, what are they made out of? No, we got fixings to make Sundays. You'll see oh, yeah? it's coming oh, in okay. in a second. Hey, Clip, where are you at? Just come say hi. Come wave. I thought you had I told already. everyone you are going to be on the show. I thought you had them already done. Is Clip here? I think he went outside. He's outside. He probably went to, you know, <sighs> take a cigarette break or something. Did you meet Clip last night? I saw him, yeah. Parliament Funkadelic. Mm hmm one nation under the groove. Oh, he was in. He played with them when they played. He That's plays. Like, he's he's like the uh, the hype man. Like the uh, the, uh, toaster. the toaster. The toaster. George Clinton. Yeah, he's like George Clinton's right hand man. He's been on the show for it. Yeah, we want. He's got his dog Casey. We'll bring him on. Um, Keith. Um, 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 I had something. Oh yeah, what's your favorite uh cereal? Uh I would say alphabets. That's the really really Captain Crunch. You like the peanut the original, butter? Original, original. Not original. the peanut butter? No, nah, you know, when they start trying to do the you know, the extra one, bonus ones, the peanut butter, crunch berries was good too. Until yeah. I found out they were they were artificial colors though. I stopped this? eating them. You know what I found out about Frankenberry and Booberry? Oh, Frankenberry was good too. Well, you know Frankenberry it made the red turn. It made the milk turn strawberry. Fra Frankenberry made the. Uh, I have a reason. Frankenberry made. Uh, it made the um, the 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 milk turn like pink. It makes something else turn pink too. <laughs> Yo, so I. Did a taste test that lined up the Count Chocula, the Blueberry, Blueberry and the Frankenberry. They had another one too. Listen, Blueberry and Frankenberry taste exactly the same. They, I think they looked at the ingredients; it's all the exact same stuff. Mm -hmm. Lori, we got. Are oh, she good? You remember she King Vitamin? Up. King Diamond. King Vitamin. He, uh, I've heard of yeah, King, King Vitamin, vitamin as before my time. I think. No, King Vitamin was the that was hard. King Vitamin. I remember my brother used to buy me. Cereal called yeah. King Vitamin? Yeah, with the with the man on it, the King Vitamin was it's good for you. Everybody was going for King Vitamin. I think King Vitamin was like Captain Crunch a little bit. Same similar. Wait, that had like a mascot, the King Vitamin? No, he had like a, a crown on his head or something. Oh. <laughs> Look, what are they? Are they are they Who's none? Him? Are they she don't want to, Lori don't want to be seen on TV. Sharon does. Oh, you can bring him on. Yeah, just come on. Just, oh, just, just put him in. Just bring drop him it off. Just drop him over just here. Just drop it off. Go on, you can bring him over here. She, she doesn't want to be. Oh, man. So my brother used to buy me all the junk cereals for Christmas because my mom. They sell them online. Wouldn't let me eat them. I just thought of like in Cheerios again, the original ones. What's oh, that? You got a, okay, okay. James, you want to Oh, Ben and Jerry's, huh? James, show me, show everybody the thing that's James's half machine. You got strawberry? He's got this thing. Oh, you got, got strawberry it. shortcake machine. Oh, strawberry got cheesecake. I see it right there. S New York super fudge chunk and chunky monkey. All right, and there's gonna be some caramel M and M. Oh, you put those in there? You put gummy bears in the ice cream? I wouldn't put gummy bears on ice because they get like hard when you do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Whipped cream is all right, but you put banana. What's a banana, banana split? Banana. Patrick, you want a little Sunday? James. James is gonna show us his diabetes uh, machine. Who? Who? He's got this thing like, check out, I don't want to hear. It's like a thing that goes yeah. into his stomach, like this. Like, I'm pumping away. I'm a robot. I'm a, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. With his uh, peanut butter. Oh, that yeah, has to do with it. It's New Year's yeah. Day. Let's celebrate. You want a uh, little Sunday? Yeah, I mean, but you, you want the is it soft cake? enough for you to really open it? Yeah. yeah, the lights from the studio, the studio lights. Right. So you're gonna make a um, can you banana a banana split? Tell her what's needs these. We need these signed. So you, uh, you, you we'll put those. Uh, oh, I, 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 we're imagine, watching this DVD. I'm the most uninteresting ice cream dude in the world, man. Yeah, 
straight, straight vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my man's vanilla. I don't care. I love it, man. It's DVD. I, I signed that. That was the one global global entertainment. <laughs> this DVD, like the first 20 minutes, is cool Keith talking about why he loves seltzer. Seltzer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, and, and like oh, nobody can cool make way. it as interesting as, as you do. Oh, Kelvin was all right, man. We got high together on our way to a concert one night. Who? Jim Keltner. Who's drummer. that? <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were talking about the drummer, man. <laughs> what was I talking about? You said Keltner. Oh, Seltzer. Yeah. Oh. You ever get high with seltzer? Oh, seltzer, I like seltzer. It's good for you. <laughs> Cut some of the grease. Yo, wait, get, get in I there. Got, I got, you I got, got in there too. Oh, you want it on there? You, get it in there. you don't want it on fast. <laughs> some people don't want they want their records. Oh, they want their records. They want it's, oh, they want it's, it's, it's you signing your album. Does anyone okay. ever sign that? The vinyl? Oh, wow. I signed the label. Sign the, the, the I signed the label. Breakfast. So that's the short cake. That's the uh, cheesecake. So what, uh, James, Noah, anybody in the uh, Give us a plate. studio audience want? Uh, right, everybody wants some Sunday. Anybody in the audience like one? I know. Here's somebody take these so we don't get ice cream all over them. Hey, Lori, why don't you come over and grab these off the table? <laughs> One, no, it's right, it's right there. I just grabbed it's right it. over there. I can't see you. Wait, we can't that see a, you. That's a possum. That's a possum, huh? Laura, you seriously walked up and be a cut to a I saw one of possum. What? Where did you see one? I saw one in the Bronx, but he had like another baby on his back. Yeah, New York City's. I see one. He was one big. In, he I was one big, one but he had like something on his back, like another one. I seen one. Yeah, they keep the babies on their back. Yeah, he I was like big as a, But he came out. He was big as a dog, and then he had like a baby, like bigger than a rat on his back. So I was like, wow. And I, I thought it was something else because I'm used to seeing animals, but when I seen it, I thought it was like a double animal at first. Oh like, yeah, um, because it caught me off guard. I just got a, I just got a message. I was just looking at my phone. I got a message. I was like, you know, a lot of messages, people asking who books for Meltasia. I've said it on the show before. I'll say it again. It doesn't really work like that. You just got to, your band just has to be at the right place at the right time. You got to be interesting. You got to have, you got you to be able to draw. You got to have something that makes me think you have the potential to draw. Um, I just, I just got to be there and I got to see it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, it's like, you know. You just have whipped cream and banana. Can you, can you oh yeah, let's get rid of this. Give a shot. Healthy, give a shot of like, uh, uh, I need ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, who doesn't eat Sundays on New Year's? James, uh, Chunky Monkey, New York Super Fudge Chunk. What, what are the options? Uh, <laughs> strawberry cheesecake. Chunky Monk here in New York, Super Fudge Chunk. What are you having? Just a little ice cream. What's Keith having? I have a strawberry shortcake. I want what Keith's having. All right, he's making a banana. I made a banana. I don't want a banana. So just shut up. And I don't want what Keith's having. Yeah, yeah. He's a banana split, babe. You, you don't care what kind of, this one's open. It's pretty different. Well, this cheesecake, Ben and Jerry's. Keith, yeah, we should go on a road trip to Vermont. You know what go to good? Ben and Jerry's and get matching tie dye shirts. Oh, yeah. They and we can just go around and be like, guess where we went? People are going to be like, Ben and Jerry's? And we're going to be like, uh huh. Guys, let's all do it. You want to go to Ben and Jerry's together, the yeah. four of us? Yeah. Road trip? In the winter? I don't want ice cream in the winter. This is not baking it on TV. Okay, mm. this this is really real. This is a real deal. I don't yeah. fuck around. Um, okay, there's that. Let's get another. Uh, like a cake. Patrick, like you, a banana you, want, pudding. you want a banana or something? No, I know where that cheesecake from. Oh, now he wants it. Straight vanilla. <laughs> oh, straight vanilla. I thought that's what it looked like. Yeah. All right, James. I'm going whatever's easy. I'm going to give it to him first, Patrick first. 
Okay, or whatever. Red the red the strawberry. Wild man. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, do you, well, I was going to make you a whole thing. Well, I kind of want to put some on, but then I kind of also... Do you want some hot fudge? I want to hit it, too. No, you're not good. No, give me... I'll put the whipped cream on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Don't have go. James Gunn can a can of whipped yeah. cream. Otherwise, it's just going to come out liquid after that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. You make this at home a lot, huh? What's that? You do this at home, I bet. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while, I'm not like, I, I'm like, a, give me a couple bites of ice cream. Great. And, uh, he probably wants a couple of M&Ms on there. On there? Yeah, you want a couple? No, I never tried that. That might mess up my phone. Just take a couple. Yeah? Oh, let me try that. All the world loves M&Ms. I'm saying that's something you, you experimenting on this one? All right. Um. Oh, you're, are those caramel in the M and M's? Pass it over. You want something like that, Patrick, or do you just want some? All right, bro. Yeah, I got to. I got to say, M and M's are okay, but in this place, I don't like. Why is this? I don't remember putting a knife in there. Oh yeah. I think M and M's take it too far, though. Yeah. <laughs> they say. They take, I think. No, they take it on another highway, like caramel. I've never had. I, I mean, I'm I'm a peanut M M&M and M peanut man. Oh yeah, Patrick. All right, you know this. What I just tried off that knife was real good. It's really good. Any of the studio audience want in? Hey, wait, Obi Wan is Obi Wan here? Obi. Yo, all right. So before I bring him on, we're giving you an exclusive look to the new. You guys watch The Mandalorian? Well, Obi-Wan's about to get his own Disney Plus show, and we're giving you an exclusive look at uh, the real Obi-Wan Kenobi, who's, right. who's going to be on the show. Obi-Wan. That was so cool. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> that was really cool. All right. <laughs> yeah. But, 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 but don't tell me you didn't bring the lightsaber. Dangerous, but those are your <laughs> added. Hey. What's going on, man? How you been? Hey, what's, what's up? happening? <laughs> Happy New Year. I'm you and McGregor. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. Now, Wait. I liked it without the the added attractions. That okay. was great. Uh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, that was real good. <sighs> well, if I give you guys the whipped cream can, oh, imagine I'm. All right, he's just gonna go for it with his hands. I can get you a spoon. You want some? Do you want a spoon or you want to just do it like that? All right. All right. Hey, can we, BA, how about we just put on some commercials and I'll tell you when to turn it up if it looks something looks interesting? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, the money store. I remember that. Phil Rizzuto for the money store. Oh, yeah. Or any at all. And now, under a new oh, financing peanut. plan of the Federal National Mortgage Association, monthly payments can be lower than ever before. Phil Rizzuto One for the money store. Call the money store. <laughs> the toll-free number. Dial 1-800-221-8000. Yes, I'd like to buy a $5 bill. It's you know what's funny though? Know, um, that was um when the when the Yankees used to be on. Remember that? Bill Rizzuto. I remember. Uh, on sale. Video recorders on sale. Major appliances on sale. Audio equipment on uh, sale. And personal computers sorta. at the lowest prices ever. They're trying to sort of for slim fast. Yeah. Don't forget. I personally guarantee it. The New Mark and Lewis presidential sale now through Monday. Cursing that. Oh, really? Is, just, is it outtakes? Its potential is as limitless as space itself. And thanks to you, the United Negro College Fund is turning this potential into reality. Your contributions go to 41 colleges and universities. Chase, you can hear Patrick right in that microphone. Careers that benefit no. both you and our nation. Really? Support the United you gotta Negro turn up, just like it. A mind is a no, terrible sir. thing to waste. I don't. It's all right. No, you guys are good. Look, Art. Oh, you dropped it. 
I think that's gone. Yo, and you really didn't bring those lightsaber? All right, wait, he's gonna use the forest. Get a shot on Obi Wan. He's gonna use the forest. Give him the spoons. The force. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Your clothes always so Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. Yeah, wait. Let's do that again. Give me that. Back when they were in the Now why? If you only had an eye. But here's good news. National Shop at Home Service introduces the World Traveler Packet Iron, the perfect packer for travelers who want to look fresh. Crisp and neat when they arrive. So you guys and when they are World Traveler is so compact, it actually fits into a case the size of right. a hand. Obi Wan is going to use the force. Snap together, and the case becomes right. a handle. Plug a it shot in, on Obi Wan, right? Ready to put your wardrobe back in shape. I put the case uh -oh. a jacket or a iron a shirt. And this is a gift. Wow. Who else wants to come out and say hi? Who feels like it? What's Doc Brian? On the door. Come on, it's amazing. Hi. What's Doc Brian, everybody? What's Doc Brian? Yeah. yeah. Yo. Yeah. What sucks was eligible bachelor. Well, come here, show them your handsome face. Look at how good looking this guy is, everybody. Let's get a shot on him. Look at what. Stop crying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Uh, where's the. Uh, here, I'll open a new ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, man. This is like sesame. This is a chocolate one. Yeah. I already had um, the strawberry was the best. Oh, God. I don't like what, what is that? Now. What is that? I know they like real rubbery, huh? Chewy and credit card order. Call toll free 1 800 453 6600. They don't have no peanuts. Yeah. Order for 1995 plus 350 shipping. No, where's Clip? He's been dipping in and out everywhere. That's um, right there. Right? Please allow four to six days for delivery. Ship? Oh well, we love you, Clip. That was so cool. Um, I don't do Junkie Monkey, man. That's I don't eat meat. I'm all done. That was cool. That was cool too. It's chunks of monkey. It's only the first time it's good with the strawberry shortcake was the best. No, he's not. Are you kidding me? What? No, he's not gonna want it. Clips and Let's keep it off. Uh, I am clean. Clips getting harassed by the cops. Yeah. He's not. He's not. He's not getting arrested. He is. Oh no. Oh, Ah, that was good. That ice cream was good. I, I, had some, I, had some, so, I had some French fries earlier, and it was good. You know, you need some street after you have a lot of salt. Nah, I never tried that one. Mm. You know what I'm thinking, Andy? Hmm. I'm yeah, thinking that guy out there talking to the coppers could be singing an old Winoni Harris song hmm. from back in the rhythm and blues days. Good morning, Judge. I had a date the other Good night. Good morning. You know that one? Good morning, Judge. Yeah. From back in like 1949. I just made it up. I just made oh, it up. Oh, no, man. No, this Good is morning, a, Judge. No, this, dang it. That, that's the, cor that's the chorus. Uh, Jer, huh? That's the chorus to the tune. It is? Yeah, the dude is singing. Oh, wow. I must be a prophet. Yeah. Had a date the other night with little Lucy Brown. <laughs> Went to all the honky tonks and, I was and really ready, got around. And I was She's ready five to foot two with eyes of blue and pretty as a queen. I didn't know her pop was a city cop. And she was just 15. Good morning, Judge. Why do you look so mean, sir? And Mr. Judge, what can the trouble be? If there's a problem, I will plead not guilty. It must be someone else 
You know it can't be me. me. That's what I grew up on back in yesteryear. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Judge. Yesteryear. Hey. Uh, I hope not. I hope he gets to these in the freezer, please? I hope they don't just behave himself and move along. We're breaching now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's looking at that. That was strawberry yeah. one was good. Here, Andy. Lori, yeah. I'm trying to, like, <laughs> I'm trying to trick her to get on TV. But you guys, you guys are, you guys keep cutting away. What is that? Uh, no, I mean, I'm trying to. No, yeah. I'm, uh, the Energizer. Yeah. As of this morning, I've lost 24 pounds. Yeah, the well, that's because you're not eating ice cream. Weight loss product. Oh, which? I lost 30 pounds. 16 <sighs> pounds. Well found. Eight pounds. Should we give it to him? Yeah. Pounds, yeah. Pounds, yeah. Give it to yeah. your I'm elder. To be 100% convinced. You guys, that's why we're making show him how to do it. Do it. By ordering now, you can receive one 24-day supply of the Energizer. Good hi, baby. 24 days, you don't lose all the weight you want. Oh. We'll send you another 24-day supply absolutely free. Lose weight fast with money back guarantee ah, Energizer. Right. Call toll free one 800 331 No security policy. And remember, free 24-day supply yes. you don't lose all the weight you want. So call one 800 331 and send 1995 to Energizer, Box 20E, Los Angeles, California, 90051. It's our greatest sale ever. Newmark and Lewis is Newmark and Lewis sale. Every item in every Newmark and Lewis store is more Astro and Williams. We All were TVs like last night. Sale. Me and you were like Newmark and Lewis. I know we really. We're we're like, we're, we're like Raymore and Flanagan. Raymore and Flanagan. We're like. What are they? Are they furnishing? What's that? Ain't they furnishing? I don't know. We're Raymore and Flanagan. Newmark and Lewis. They're like furnishing. So I was like kind of like Keith's hype man last night. It's like, girl, let me take you there. I want to feel you. That was good. You did great. Thank you. I felt And I liked there. your little solo. You know, you, you went off after the end. You yeah, know, we're going to travel the world together. And I'm going to be like, cool, key. I, I think you should do an album. I'm down with that. I think you, you should, should do an show album. Me what to do. I'm new at this. I think you should do an album. All right. And uh, what's the name was so great? Um, the guitar player. Bloodshot. How does, he, how does he do the snarl, the snoring? <laughs> the snarling, the snoring. Oh, when I see you, the way on the wind. We were gonna have bloodshot. Uh, he's good. He's good at that. Happy birthday, Bloodshot Bill. He, he's on his way back to Montreal. His birthday's today. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Look into that camera. And say happy birthday, Bloodshot Bill. Happy birthday, Bloodshot Bill. Yeah. Safe so travels back to Canada. He's riding back to Canada on a snowmobile. I like his guitar. Um, he has that. Look like he has a Gretsch. Uh, he, he, old, uh, uh, like the Chuck Berry kind. He put up this picture of you guys. Wait. The Chuck Berry Gretsch. Bloodshot. Look at this picture. The vintage guitars cost a lot. You look good with the guitar, dude. Let's get a tight oh, that's shot. That's so cool. Of that's so cool. Let's get a tight shot. Oh, yeah. I think he's going to give me that guitar as a gift. I think he's gonna give me that there's, guitar as a gift. Obi Wan. I back. think he's gonna give me that guitar as a gift. <laughs> no, that's his trademark guitar. Nah, but I think he's gonna give me that one. As a we gift. were in the car last night. <laughs> Keith and Sharon were driving us back to my house. That's a cool picture. Yeah. You gotta driving send us me back that one. to my house. You gotta send me this one. I wanna post. We it. tagged you on it. You'll see it. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's making cool guitar. That's right? making me wanna buy a guitar. Bloodshot Bell's a big fan of yours. A lot of people don't know he's like big into hip hop. He's like, cool Keith, an old dirty bastard. You think you would go to Sam Ash and give me one of those uh, Vince's guitars? Yeah. He'd do anything for you. Wait, um, he's so a cool. big old dirty bastard fan too. That he like channels it through his music. You would you think about it. Do you ever meet old dirty bastard Keith? Uh, yeah, many, like a couple of times. Yeah. Nice person. Yeah. Can we get a shout out Keith while he's talking? He's a nice person. I met old dirty breasted um in California when I was living out there. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. What was he making? Me and him went to um Kentucky Fried together. It was funny. Yeah, yeah, we bought some chicken. Um, that's when he was coming. Um, I think he was staying in L.A. We went to pick him up. Me and Jeremy Lorna, my manager, we went to pick him up because he did a song with me for um, you know, the WWF soundtrack, um, aggressive aggression soundtrack. But um, there was like a lot of people in that album. It was like we all made songs about um different wrestlers in the in the wrestler, and then um the album went gold too. It went gold. It went gold. And me and him did a song called um, Punch Kick Fight. 
Cool. And I was I rapping. I was. I think I rapped. And he rapped. We went back and forth. Where can I find that? I can find that on the internet or something. Yes, aggression. The aggression CD. With Old a, dirty. Bastard. A lot of people was on there. A lot. They had a lot of guests on. A lot of guest rappers was on there. A lot of. You met everybody. It was signed. It was signed on um, Priority Records, I think. Oh, oh cool. That's when Jerry Heller was out. Yeah. Priority Records. It was um. It went gold. It, 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 it went gold. Nice record. I had got a platinum plaque for it. You met all. You met all the legends. Yeah, you're one of them. He's amongst the legends. Yeah. Who do you see? Like, uh, how often do you see Biz Markie? I feel like maybe. I haven't seen Biz in like about twenty years now. Yeah. No, I did see him whipping. I think I seen him in L.A. DJing at a party. And um in 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 Universal City and Biggie Smalls told you he likes your uh, your sex style. Oh yeah, I saw Biggie song. I saw Biggie in L.A. in a club, a little club in um Hollywood in the back. But I was surprised to see him there. It was just kind of by accident. I caught him in, in, in the back of the club. He's like, oh, I went in the back. Like, oh, this Biggie in the back. Like, but it was a club you would never thought he would be in, like a cool kind of like, like, a, like a bar, club. like a bar, like a little little bar, like yeah. in the back. Like, but he wasn't doing a show now. He was just back there chilling. Like, yeah, yeah. I stumbled up to him because I went in the back. You know, I really met him. I went to the back of the club because I wanted to use the bathroom to take a leak, and I said, "Oh shit, Biggie's back." It was like in the back, dark. He was. All the way to the back, like a real long little hallway. You know, you go in a bar and it's narrow. And I seen him sitting in the back. I said, wow, nobody would think he's back here at all. And I left that club. It was like, to this, a lot of people was like, didn't know Biggie was in that club. And he was there out there. At the, people he, wouldn't he, assume he was. No, he was out there at the time when they had the stuff going on, the, the, the Tupac back and forth stuff. And I was like, I didn't expect to see Biggie in LA, but I was like, when I went, seen it but that's how, how you fan of that's how you always find um really um a lot of stars you don't really see them on hollywood boulevard i think i'm the only star walking on hollywood boulevard yeah. I, you don't walk around and just see a star on holly you don't walk around and see a star on hollywood boulevard right? you can see the stars but you always find you them walk like, down no nah, i'm just saying you always nah, i'm saying you find them in a weird place like they'll be somewhere like like i saw michael jackson and um in ihop Really? Yeah, you don't see them in places you predict yeah. predictably want to yeah. expect to see them. Like you walk on Hollywood Boulevard, you're not gonna see stars. You're gonna see them in an unpeculiar spot. Did you meet Michael Jackson? No, nah, I saw me and Kurt was in there eating, and um, I think we was in there with um, Barbito and Stretch, and then we seen this guy come through the door with all the tassels and Captain Stripes, and you know he had a blazer with us. And then I was like, I, took, I hit Kurt. I said, Oh, Kurt, that's I said, look, I said, it's Michael Jackson. So we was like, and he was like, that's not Michael Jackson. Then the waiter came up to us and said, yeah, he comes in here to get French toast every Friday. <laughs> I was like, uh -uh. oh, that's just Mike. But he likes French toast. That's funny, right? Yo, somebody throw away his fucking m &Ms. I never want to see these. Can you imagine him, Tito, I'm going to get some, Tito, I'm going to get some French toast. <laughs> Tito, get me some tissue. Um, what time we got? It's 418. 419. We got like, let's see what other commercials we got. Crank them up, crank them up, crank them up. Ooh, air mattress. Look at that mattress. These people are psyched about their air mattress. Oh, air mattresses. I, I, they, they always like kind of. You remember half, that? Half. half. A little gas tank. You filling that with propane? That would be cool. Fill remember the water beds was out? And then throw it on a fire? <laughs> We're doing that. You remember the water, the water, you remember the water beds were out? Helium? helium? Yeah. I have a tank of helium. What are these girls doing? Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Maybe you can order it right now. Yeah, what's the and number? It's still in the, the place is still there. <laughs> Man. 
Oh, they were winding and dining with them. Where air mattresses is like a new thing back then. Forty nine ninety five. You can get them at Walmart now for like fifteen. Yeah. Fifty dollars and coupons. It can be used by cash when you purchase our mattresses. Oh, fifty dollars and coupons. Use your credit card. Notice. Use them all in one mattress. Eight hundred four five three thirty eight hundred. We're calling. Eight hundred four five three thirty eight hundred. Or send check that number probably don't even work. Here they are. Somebody pick up the phone. I'll be bugging. Right, I'm calling. It ain't like you want a mattress? I'm calling. Speaker. Yeah. This number is out of service. Welcome to the nation's hottest sex line. Hello, amateurs. How am I going to sleep tonight if they don't answer? Manhattan, New York. Ooh, look, CDs, or tapes, records. That's top. Oh, crazy, crazy Eddie. Eddie. Oh, Turn wow. him up. Super high quality, low noise, 60 minute cassettes from tracks. And Crazy Eddie's got not one, not two, but three. We'll call the next 800 number. I'm so, so give the gift of music with a record or tape from Crazy Eddie because his record prices are insane. We're insane. <laughs> his prices were insane. Remember? Were they? That's what he always said. My dad told me he bought a. He bought a, uh, a little uh, radio. There was another one that was direct from Eddie himself. Was, was it the Wiz? They beat prices. Help people get control over their money. And the one financial aid Have I you always recommend one eight hundred lawyers. Money magazine. Money is hey. the most practical, easy to use financial advice. Hey, you want to know some fun fact? In a world where so when your much bank says no, champion control, says yes. Isn't it yes. reassuring to know you have instant access to expert advice for protecting your money and making it grow? Issue after helpful issue, money shows you step by step how to reach your financial goal. Money brings you the latest investment news and closing letters from Washington and Wall Street. And Everybody's going to buy that magazine. Morning stocks, securities, and mutual funds to help you learn make more the about most money. every opportunity. In money, you'll find out how to finance a new home and your children's education, how to get the best return on your savings, and hundreds of ways to cut your taxes. Bitcoin. Money tells you in plain language where the hot jobs are. All about IRAs and how to prepare for a worry-free retirement. Money. Can you and buy bitcoins at the money store? You practical, hands-on information you use. All right, this commercial's getting money more old. Profitably, keep more of your money yeah, tax time and live better on the money you earn. And right now, you can get nine issues Ooh, of this money guy. magazine for He's just seventeen ninety-seven by calling this toll-free number. Look at that. One eight hundred. Beautiful. Head of hair. Two hundred. And when you subscribe to money. You get money's guide to personal money management free. I remember that guy. All the work at the time works. Having to get my money for predicting market ups and downs. It's a gold mine. Doable ideas to help you get control of your money. Get that money. One eight hundred six two one eighty two hundred. If ever our money doesn't help you control your money more profitably. We'll send you a full refund on all our mail issues. Do they still exist? Why not call no, right now? That's why it's going to be eight hundred six two one eight two hundred. What is the business? And join more than three million Americans who control their money with the help of Money Magazine, right. America's financial advisor. If you've always wanted an adjustable bed but you could never afford one, they don't exist, right? Thank you for calling. Uh, yeah, no more. That's right. I wanted that air mattress, though. The company that All right, 800 547. Now probably brings you Magic Motion. So you'd like to see if these people now still exist. Yeah. Hello, please look carefully at the menu on these names. Calls are recorded for quality assurance. They don't exist. Right. How many years is that? They don't even have a line. Are you or is someone in your household 65 years of age or older? Press one for yes. If you or someone in your household is 65 years of age or older, are you or is someone in your household 65 years of age or older? No. I got a good idea for a cut rate one of those away cutting things, man. Pound. pound. What's your idea? Well, when you push it, instead of coming to get you, you hear my mother, and she says, "Get up! Don't give in to yourself. Get up!" And that's all you get, but you don't pay much for it. 
Yeah, man, that's what I do on Friday, you know. All right, yeah, I this there's too much with that. Uh, I just want to get direct cause. This is a Target commercial. How long's Target been around? For years. Like since like the seventies. I just went up to um Sears today. I seen one when they going out of business, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you did you go to Kingston today? Yeah, I went. Oh, you, up, you I went to Dawson Valley Mall. It's like a ghost town. I told you. I told you. You don't want to. There's a ghost <laughs> town in there. Did you get anything? You got a little there? ghost in there, huh? Did you get anything there? You got nah, Jimmy Jazz. Looking. I went in. Um, I went in Dick Sports. <laughs> Oh, okay. And I was I was playing with the baseball gloves. I, oh man, it, it brought back memories. I gotta I gotta get a baseball glove. Dick Sporting Goods at the Hudson Valley Mall, Kingston. Cool keys. You just approved. plugged them. You just plugged them. Is you approved? I want to get um. I gotta get a glove again. I, they had some good gloves. The gloves you now look so good. Yeah, I wanted to get a glove. It was a nice one. You play I wanted baseball? to get a Wilson or a Rawlings. Oh yeah, a those gloves. Gloves Does cost like, make gloves? gloves cost like three hundred now. Really? Uh, like yeah. a mint? Uh, hey, leather, huh? Man. Huh? Say I. You like the gloves? I had man. a glove when I was a kid, man. I got it for sale on the Saturday evening you still, post. You still His got it? His name was Monty Pearson, and he was a pitcher for the Yankees, and nobody never heard of him, and nobody <laughs> never heard of me. <laughs> I was not a good baseball guy. I was a, I was a stickball dude, and we played stickball oh, with no right. gloves. Right. Yeah, man, you could hit a three, three the spall D, trip. right? And I could catch it barehanded with one of them pink Spaldines. Yeah, man. I remember pink Spaldines. Yeah, and we'd bet like 400. But if they hit them right, you ever notice they used to warp a little? When you oh, hit them? well, yeah, what, when you'd hit them, oh, they sometimes would bust up, man. <laughs> they hit them real good. Yeah, man, I played stickball, uh, and we loved it, man. They're playing oh, yeah. stickball. I yeah. like stickball. I play. Oh, I'm right Keith. Uh, That's the original sport uh, Yeah. Uh, uh, Cliff, where's Casey? What can you buy a sport right Casey now? They don't sell them? No, no, Casey. What can you buy a sport D right now? I bet you could get one probably in a tennis joint. And no, they don't sell. I know. Do the little pink ones. Yeah, we used to get them in the ice cream store, in the candy <laughs> store for 15 cents. Oh, yeah. Man. I remember them. Yeah. And a pack of cigarettes. Remember, some of them used to have a little, some of them used to have a little suede feeling on them. Remember? Well, they they are the, if when you really get them, you got to rub them down just a little bit. So they're they get a, like they're a good value, real man. Tenderly. Yeah, I had a buddy whose name. Imagine was... Imagine you only had one if you lost one and you hit it over I, the building yeah. and oh, it stayed yeah. on the roof. Oh, you'd go get them on the roof, man. <laughs> Absolutely. And if you caught it off the side of the building, the dude was out. Oh yeah. You could play a carom shot. Yeah, yeah, dude yeah. Hit yeah. it three stories up, and I'd get over there and get under it. Yeah. With this here, here's the grip. Like a claw, right. dude. Yeah, your hand was. I was an outfielder. Your hand was a glove. Yeah. Your hand was a glove. Ah. Yeah, your hand was a glove. Yes, your you hand was. You couldn't buy gloves. Glove. Your hand yes. was the glove. Oh, right. Yes. Your I hand. Forgot. You're right. We're gonna, we're gonna FaceTime with my man Josh Styles real quick. We FaceTime earlier. And Joe wishes happy news. They're like uh, still up from the night before. And uh, it's getting weird over there. Josh Styles, you might know him from the uh, Daddy Long Legs Rock and Roll Band. Oh, wait, is he just. Wait. Okay. Yeah, come on now. Come on now. He's probably asleep now. It's 428. Yeah. Send early? him a letter, man, and then you can sing that song. Mr. Postman by the Marvelettes. I was listening to that this <laughs> Mr. morning, Mr. Postman. Yeah. Sorry, you want to sing it? Where are you at? I don't know it. Mr. Postman. You gonna sing it? Why? You gonna play it? Why you sing it? I'll sing it. I don't know the words. Wait. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Like oh man. yeah, Mr. Postman. Great song, man. I love the Marvelettes. Oh, yes, we done it, Mr. Yeah. Postman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a letter. A letter for me. I like the way she pronounces that. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, I play the song real good. Hard. I know the feel of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Miss Postman. 
yeah, get that letter on me. I got a dear John when I was in Alaska, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, I was glad to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I'd be a background singer, man. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's the, uh, that's, it. He that's got, the, that's the guitar it. version, right? That's the, that's the guitar, your version, the guitar version. But yeah. it's, it's more poppy, right? It's more rock, like a. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's kind of what it is. Yeah. Huh? That's kind of what the song is. Well, but they didn't play it with it. It was a good song, man. I loved it. I still play it. I got my eye too. Oh yeah. And I'll have I'll have an old R and B come down, and then something new by like Lucas Nelson. Didn't well, a lot of people turn were, off the news. That was like the they had the milkshake joints when they. Oh, came out. and I had I had I was luckier. I yeah. had it at the Five Hundred Club down oh, yeah? the, down on Twenty Fifth Street. It was a black bar. In, in Harlem, they would serve white kids if they were cool. You was in Harlem then. Oh, I lived in Morningside Heights. Oh, okay. And we were right up against Harlem. And we'd get the jukebox. So you've been in a cotton club we and got, all that? Oh, the cotton club? Well, not that one. There's a new cotton so club. So you did the dances where they throw the girls up in the air? Oh, and no, no, no. Not no. me, man. I did the Savoy where you slide around slick. The one where they <laughs> throw them in the air was that jitterbug and you stuff. And that slick, Lindy. Huh? You, but the Savoy, you slid the girl out slick. And then she could make her moves and stuff. Oh, you did the real, like, like the John. Oh, the you did girl, it more like the John Travolta. Yeah. That song we used to dance to. Work with me, Abby. Let's get it. So while the getting is good. So good. So what kind of shoes? You had to have certain shoes. Yeah. Uh, you had to have certain shoes on for that. Oh, no. Just regular stomping shoes. Oh. Black Brothers with a thick sole and a thick and heel. Yeah. And you tapped on the and, front. And you did back. a lot of spinning. And let the girl do the spinning. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm with you. Did you do that then? Did you dance like? Did you get down with the dance? Which dance? Like you know, me to tell him about the um, dancing or get cotton clubs that that time. Dance it. Well, the uh, cotton the cotton club, the real one from yesteryear. That ain't the one we had. But dig what's so funny. When I met my wife, I met her when I she hung out in the bar with the other chicks. You know? Okay. Okay. And I just got out of the service in 1954. And at 125th and 12th Avenue, we were so close to the river, you could hear the rats going in, you know, taking you hear the a rats. swim. Well, yeah. when they would jump in the river. It was, it was a lot of you them there. You could hear them splash. Yeah. Yeah. So I go the in there, and it used to be an Irish bar for off-duty guys that are off-duty cops and guys working in the meat packing place near the yeah, railroad. Yeah, yeah. And a dude bought it, a Puerto Rican dude, and he got the mambo and all in. So by the time I get out of the service, I see my old lady sitting across the bar, and I'm ready to whip a lot of uh, Spanish on it because when the Puerto Ricans came in our neighborhood, we didn't have that West Side Story bullshit. Right, 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 right. We loved each other. Right. We loved each other. Right, right. Honest to God, man. And I'm t I am had buddies who couldn't, <laughs> the Cubans say, was up they there. couldn't say a sentence without going, yo, man, you should have seen the fine looking chick. Right. And they, were, and they were beautiful dudes and people. So we just all got together. And it's Harlem now, bro. It's Harlem now. Gradually, they got over to 125th and Riverside. I've been over that area. Yeah, but when I come in, it was still, uh, this guy had it was Puerto Rican dude, good dude, lots of mambos in the, in, the, uh, in the thing. So I look at my old lady. She's across the bar, and I said, ooh, ooh. And they said, no, she don't talk to no one, Carlin. And I said, she's talking to me. And I got over there. And they had a song called "Baby, Let Me Bang Your Box." Right. <laughs> I played that, and the guy. And it was, and they, oh, you played the jukebox. I played the jukebox. Okay, I yeah, can't yeah, play yeah. a note, but right. I know good music when right, I hear right, it. Right, You played the quarter. And the dude just singing. The dude just singing. Baby, let me bang your box, baby. I, let I, bang your box. I thought you would be him to him from the neighborhood. <laughs> she was Trinidad. She was from Trinidad. And she didn't like it. She'd been with these songs. Oh, she didn't mind it. She didn't know what it meant. She didn't, she wasn't, I, holy crap. So I get, I started dating her, and then we had our fun. We hung out dancing to all the good That's tunes. That's so cool. Man. Oh, all the good tunes. It was beautiful, man. And uh, now I hear, I stay up on stuff. They used to have a thing called Teach Me Tonight by the DeCastro sisters. That was a beautiful song and danceable. And recently I heard it by Phoebe Snow and a guitar dude. And I like when people take an old, old tune that I dug anyway. And then they do it they with do the it modern thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's beautiful, man. You did, you did it. You did oh, it. Oh, yeah, I'm a music it. dude. I'm a music dude. Shake my hand, bro. Yeah. Oh, 
you. You did a lot of stuff. You, you did I'm a, a lot listener. Of I love listening. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I love I love smoking reefer. Who said some? You do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My my aunt used to like that. Oh too. yeah. Yeah. And then like you said, we got reefer and music equals brotherhood. Right. That's my formula. That's my. You got a drink. You got you keep you keep you some on you, right? You love it. it's just. A, it's well, yeah, man. I've always been accepted as an individual, so I judge people as individuals. You roll blunts. Oh, I, I got a, I got a buddy on the Crips. Uh, I I don't know any of the Bloods, but, but you just I saying, get along just, good with gang guys. You're not talking about you roll the blunts. You, you oh, I I don't roll. I roll I roll pitters. You roll little pitters. I'm a cheap dude. I roll <laughs> pitters. I'm an old fashioned guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but it's still, you know, you, you know, you still keep it, you know, you, you oh, keep your high going. You yeah. Know? Oh, God bless you, man. You're in my head. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I know. I love it when people understand other people and all. It's a I wonderful bet. thing, man. What did you do New Year's? You, had, you probably had a little. Yeah. You had I'll, one I'll, tell you, I'll tell you. You lit up one on New Year's? Oh, I light them up every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I have a half, and then I play 13 tunes, man. Uh, I'm trying to come up with a program that would stop the old, time, old people from yeah, getting yeah, Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah. So I mix in these shows, and you might have right behind a, a, an R&B tune yeah, yeah. something brand new. Something brand new, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And then behind that, clandestino or some good uh, Spanish tune, man. Yeah. And uh, it, it works. It works. And it's good for the brain. Uh, Can you tell us a favorite joke by your brother, George Carlin? Oh, God. I don't think he had a favorite joke. No, do you have your favorite. But, uh, oh, my favorite. Yeah, my yeah, my yeah. favorite thing that he did is that modern man. It's just a whole. You, as a rapping dude, will dig it. Right. Absolutely, because he's got the meter going at the end. Of, uh, he's, I'll give you a, I'll give you a gigabyte in a nanosecond. I'm a, it's a, it, you will love it. A modern man. That's the thing I consider the best by him. But the one that's funny to me, Chip, too, is this New York Voices thing he does. He's got one he does to the Irish guy, you know, and he's got one he does to the Italian guy, and then he's got, he does like. He said, you can't do black because they get mad at you back then. That was back right, yesterday right. year. But I'll tell you what he did to me one day. He says, get on down here. I, he'd call me down when he'd get a new album and shit. Mm -hmm. And I, I go down to see him. And I first didn't know what was happening. I am thinking I'm hearing an Italian guy. He's talking about the Mooley Ann. The Mooley. You know? Yeah, the Mooleys and all this. Eddie Murphy. It was Eddie Murphy, man. Doing Eddie the Murphy? Italian dude. And it broke me up. I loved it. And he was on the money. With, yeah, the movies are moving in. So was that, it was really Eddie? It was really Eddie. I remember he used to do the yeah, Italians yeah, after yeah, they saw Rocky. Yeah. George liked Eddie Murphy and he liked uh, mm. Richard. He and Richard oh, okay. were good pals. Joe, are stuff. you in the new Bill and Ted movie? Did they get you? They should have gotten you in the new. There's a new Bill and Ted movie coming. I don't know. I didn't even get in the old Bill and Ted movie. I know your brother was. <laughs> and then, now they get you in it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna talk to Bill and Ted. All right, tell him. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go there and smoke something with him. <laughs> that's cool, buddy. that's yeah. your in right there, buddy. Yeah. So you, that's good. All right. So we, uh, yeah, we're you're in an hour and eight minutes. I think that's. I mean, I could go all day. Keith Keith has got all kinds of important stuff to do back in the big city. Yeah, I mean, I just came. We had a great time last night. Yeah, oh yeah, last night. All right, who's calling? Are they going to answer it? We watch it, you see. Yeah. Are they telling us we're doing something we're not allowed to talk about, smoking weed or something? Woodstock public? Oh, really? No, we can talk about it. We're just not allowed to talk about Maybe it's fluids. that money guy who's singing that song that they used to have by uh, a guy named Gonzalez. Get out of that bed and get that bread. Those bills are piling high. One more collector hits that door. I'm going to leave without saying goodbye. Yeah, man. Babs Gonzalez. Old time stuff. I like old time stuff. On that note, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank my crew. VA with these cool visuals. We'd like to man. thank you, definitely. You know, we definitely oh, thank I you, man. Meet definitely. You. Really yeah. happy I got you two guys together. James coming. Have dead. a prosperous new year, you know. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's we're both at that. Because yeah. if we get cool, everyone gets cool who knows. Yeah, this. we gotta, you know, get cool and smoke some joints. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I'm looking forward <laughs> to another one. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, here. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I can dig that. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I know that. I love it. Yes. Oh, ain't nothing like it. Changed my life. That. I just got that. So you ain't stop. You ain't stop. No, I, I've been high since 1966, man. I, no. I never come down. Here, Keith. <laughs> here you go. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Pass it back. All right. Hey, get all get this is that cats come out home grow. Oh yeah. They give me something the other night called uh glue. Some kind of <laughs> yeah. Oh, great stuff. Coyote glue and gorilla glue. And you like you like sativa, huh? You like sativa? I like to uh, look at the, I love the look of reefer and all. It's pretty stuff. We used to grow it, but it was never any good. All I could make was hash oil out oh, of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd bring it down to the neighborhood and give it away. Back when the subways looked cool. When everybody was writing the graffiti on I them. I heard there's some cars that just got graffitied up. All you got stuff. the natural stuff now. The yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you stay up on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this a SpaghettiOs commercial in back of us? Oh, I love Christmas plays. Oh, yeah. Marionetta. A little wood in Santa. Oh. All right. Yo, um, let's uh let's play our outro music like we used to do. You know what I'm saying? Perfect yo, time yo, Patrick, Carl, and Cool Keith, James got cannon. Clip for one second. Clip, Yay, clip, clip. Pain, and fucking deli. Oh, uh, everybody in the studio, thank you all for your help. Uh, Gordon Taylor Ray with the ice cream detail, the ice cream oh, yeah. detail. Woodstock Brian. Was stuck cutting it up last night. Chase Pearson with the crazy editing. Oh man, Sharon, Sharon, come say hi. Come say bye to everybody. Come on, Share Bear. All right, come on, Share Bear. This is an old Share. tradition. Yeah, thanks everybody. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Crank up the tunes, right man. On, man. Yeah, turn it up, turn it up. Yeah. All right. Picking the Vikings in the in the football playoffs. You know, people back then used to think that was like a really hilarious concept. Chef Willie, purple people here. He's like, I got one oh, for yeah. you. Yeah. One eye. One people one. used to hear that song. He's like, <laughs> Did you think that was a funny song? No. Patrick? Okay. I did. No. One eye, one horse. One eye, one horse. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Shut it off. Andale Caballero. Um, okay. All right. Good work, everybody. Oh, thank you. And uh, good work on you with all that good chow. Good work.